In this question, current inode is flowing through a bent wire ABCD in ZX plane. So this is ZX plane and the current is flowing in this wire ABCD as on the figure. Then integral B dot DL over the loop PQRS. So this is the loop PQRS which is kept in XY plane as on the figure due to the bent wire ABCD. So due to the bent wire ABCD, so this is the current carrying wire and due to this current carrying wire what is integral B dot DL over this loop and we are going from we are going from p q r s on this loop okay so this is the uh, way of traveling along this loop and this is the same diagram depicting the same situation in 3d so this is your loop p q r s and this is the wire and we can see clearly that this wire is not piercing this uh, plane of this loop okay so this loop is not being pierced this uh, these wires are not passing through this area okay so this is on through this dotted line so these are the three segments of this wire this is ab this is bc and cd so due to these currents three currents due to these three currents you have to find what is the b dot dl uh, along this path okay so let's see how to solve it so definitely this question is related to the ampere slow and uh, through ampere slow we know that uh, integral b dot dl over a closed loop is given by mu naught into i and uh, what is i here this is important so i is uh, basically current in infinite wire so uh, from a loop uh, infinite wire is passing in, uh, carrying a current i so this i is current in the infinite wire piercing the plane of the closed loop or this i is the current in a closed circuit closed circuit piercing the plane of the closed loop and clearly uh, we don't have an infinite wire here and clearly this is not a complete loop okay this is not a complete circuit so this is a part of circuit and we have given this three segments of that circuit okay so only only due to this three segments we have to find what is the b dot dl okay so we cannot apply we cannot uh, we cannot use the ampere slow directly here because to apply ampere slow the current should follow either this or either this okay so the given situation of this one so this is the given situation and this is the given situation we have three segments of wire and what i can do is i can place two wire here between points a and d okay so one wire carrying the current i not like this and other wire carrying current i not like this so because i am placing two wires carrying equal and opposite current so it will not create any net effect okay so no net effect will be created but what it will do uh, due to this wire this wire this loop is completed okay so since this loop is completed and uh, this wire is piercing that loop so i can uh, use this ampere loop and due to this loop alone only due to this loop is loop ki wajah se sirf aur sirf is loop ki wajah se jo b dot dl hoga along that pqrs loop to wo jo b dot dl hoga us b dot dl ki value jo hogi that uh, value will be simply m not into i not okay so i have written here so this value will be m not into i not so due to this loop only that will be mu naught into i naught okay and uh, this is carrying current in the opposite sense and we know from this loop okay this is mu naught into i naught now we have to calculate what is b dot dl due to this finite wire so important thing here is this wire is finite if this is infinite wire then we can directly write mu naught into i naught okay there is no issue but since this is finite wire okay this wire has length equal to l so we cannot apply the ampere's slow directly for this wire so we have to separately calculate uh, what is uh, b dot dl due to this wire so for this we know that uh, this is mu naught into i naught and since current is in the opposite sense so uh, if this is creating a positive b dot dl then it will create a negative b dot dl okay so from this mu naught into i naught i will subtract uh, the b dot dl created by this wire alone so let's calculate for this straight wire so for this straight wire let's uh, calculate what is b dot dl okay so i have shown in this diagram the situation and this uh, this is the loop pqrs and this is the straight wire passing through the center like this okay and this is a 2d diagram in which uh, we are looking from above okay so this wire will look like a point and this is your pqrs which is an xy plane and magnetic field due to this kind of wire will be uh, let's say if i choose this point i am uh, taking element dx here okay so from uh, this point o at a distance x i am choosing a small length which is dx 
so here the magnetic field is from this wire the point is at a r distance magnetic field will be something like this and what is the value of magnetic field so magnetic field due to this kind of wire this is r distance uh, of point and this angles are theta uh, so this magnetic field is mu naught upon 4 pi and this is the distance r and it is basically sin of this angle plus sin of this angle and since these two angles are equal this is l by 2 and this is l by 2 so this will become 2 sin theta and uh, the relevant uh, distances i have written here x can be written in terms of this angle phi and l by 2 and this r distance uh, of this element can be written in terms of l by 2 and this sec phi okay so from here you can write dx is l by 2 sec square phi d phi we will require these things further so magnetic field is this one and uh, for r you can write this l by 2 sec phi and for sin theta sin theta you can use this diagram so from this diagram it is uh, l by 2 divided by this distance and uh, you can see this distance will be equal to this and for r you can write this and you will get this expression okay so if you calculate b dot dl due to uh, uh, from o to q suppose uh, you are calculating b dot dl from o to q you can see you are going in this direction o to q and uh, this b is like this so obviously b dot dl will be negative here okay so now let's go further for the calculation so this b dot dl along this pqrs so uh, what i have done is uh, what is what b dot dl is created by this uh, segment o to q you have to multiply by it because by symmetry this will create the same b dot dl this will create the same b dot dl this will create the same b dot dl so it is eight times uh, b dot dl created by this uh, moment o to q okay so b dot dl you can write this as b dx cos phi this angle is phi this angle 90 minus phi so this angle is going to be phi so b cos phi dx and obviously there will be negative now put the values okay and now the matter of integration it is mathematics only now so b you can put uh, this b and cos phi will be there and this dx i can put like this and phi limit of phi okay so limit of phi you can see in the diagram uh, phi will start from 0 here and it will go to pi by 4 okay so this phi angle will be pi by 4 here so from 0 to pi by 4 you can integrate okay so after integration so after simplification uh, this is the expression we are getting and now we are left with this integration and we have to deal with this integration on the next page we are doing this so this is uh, this integration so there can be various method to solve this integration so what i can do is i can convert this integration into cos phi and uh, this cos square phi can be written as 1 minus sin square phi so this will be 2 minus sin square phi now you can take sin phi as some t substitution and uh, it will be cos phi d phi is dt here you can change the limit accordingly when uh, phi is 0 so t is 0 when phi is pi by 4 so t is 1 by root 2 here so this is the integration and this is a standard integration uh, a square minus x square and this will be sin inverse x by a okay so this is t by root 2 so from this to this and it will give pi by 6 finally you can put pi by 6 here and you will get minus 2 by 3 mu naught i naught so now, now you are adding the contribution due to 2 so contribution due to this uh, complete loop is mu naught i naught and contribution due to that single wire is minus 2 by 3 mu naught i naught so total b dot dl due to that wire abcd will be 1 by 3 mu naught i naught so this is the final answer to this problem